We're about to walk a home that has 18 windows on the back wall and side wall of the main living areas, and it's in a community that has great topography. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Raj Sahu here. I'm a realtor in Central Texas, but I don't think you should always use me as a realtor. More on that a little bit later. Today, we're gonna walk through the 2694W plan with Perry Homes. Usually the name of the plan is also the square footage of the plan, but in this home for sale, they did an upgrade upstairs, adding a bedroom and a full bathroom. And that puts this home at five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, just over 2,900 square feet, and it's for sale at $689,900. And like usual, we're gonna go right out to the main living areas. I'll get back to this kitchen in a second, but I have to show you this. The dining and living room area is open to the second story, and this is that back wall I was talking about. 10 windows on this back wall. I know usually there's a lot of natural light coming in. Right now at this recording, the sun is behind the clouds, but later on in the video, we will see the sun come out and you'll see how much it lights up the home. Starting off in the kitchen, I love the two-tone cabinets they did here where the kitchen island has that cabinet overlay and that different color from the rest of the cabinets as well as the countertop. Everything else is very light and bright in here. You do have a built-in oven and microwave on the side. And then this is gonna be a look at the pantry, which I would say fairly typical around this square footage. And that's a good look at touch-up paint. Usually when the painters do their final touch-ups, they put some touch-up paint for the homeowners to keep in case they have to do anything. That space that we just saw there was, would be for a refrigerator. And then on this side, I like what they did here with the backsplash where it ties in what they did on the kitchen island, but they did a white grout. And I think that white grout ties in the rest of the kitchen with the lighter countertops and the light exterior cabinets. And then on this side, we have a single basin sink. And then I like this light fixture that they put over the kitchen island. I've also seen people do like two pendant lights over this island. And, and there are a lot of different things that you can do, especially when you're building from scratch. But overall, I do liked, I did like the options that were provided to my clients when I went to the design studio multiple times with Perry. Always uh, liked some of the options and selections that they provide there. This is gonna be a look at the dining area. It's a little bit of a unique plan where you have that kind of kitchen looking out to the backyard, but between it, you have that dining area, living room area. And I think for a lot of people that don't need a formal dining room, this is probably a great plan because if you're gonna be spending a lot of time in your kitchen, living room area, this is what it's all about. You have all those windows on the back wall where it makes it feel like the backyard is a part of your home. And then take a look at how open everything is and wait, wait till you will you see the game room upstairs with all those windows in the sidewall and when we get upstairs that's actually when the sun gets out of the clouds that it was behind and this whole home like i was mentioning just lights up and i'm excited for you to see that but before we get there lots to see here like this backyard patio uh which i would say is a pretty good size for again this amount of square footage and this type of home can usually be built on a 50 foot wide lot. Now that's the width, the depth is gonna vary, especially in a community like this. Uh, we're in Parkside and the River, which is a master plan community in West Georgetown. And I say West Georgetown because there's a big difference between West Georgetown and East Georgetown. The topography is the, what I think is the biggest difference. When you go through a community like this and just travel through the Perry section and then there's another builder, it's on the eastern side of Parkside and the River, and take a look at the new lots that just opened up. There is so much great topography and you can catch that view right off of the main road driving in. In fact, both sections in Parks on the River have some great views already starting where you can start to see the beauty that's here in a community that just started within the last 18 months. More on that a little bit later. I wanna get back to the plan and show you the primary bedroom where they have a tray ceiling. And I know there's no furniture in here, but I think you'd put your bed on this wall with the outlets on either side. And so you'd be waking up to this. You open the curtains and all that greenery, some mature trees back there. I know the mature tree in this backyard looks a little bit mangled. Just keep in mind, we did an ice storm uh, a few months ago. And during that ice storm, a lot of trees were holding ice that they wouldn't usually hold ice. So 
and so builders just had to trim things down and that's happened before with an unusual storm a few years ago and a lot of those trees did eventually grow back and and not look like that uh over time of course moving on to the primary bathroom i like the sliding door before we got in here i think it saves on space and i i like the design that they did here where they kept the tile work around the bathtub very simple just that white uh, subway tile and then they did some gray tiles on the walls as well as the floors that have much more movement in them and i think that really drew my eye when i first came in here with everything being more of a solid color like the countertops the cabinets and that tile work around the bathtub now while we walk through the primary closet and the rest of this first story before we get up to that game room which i'm excited for you to see i did want to mention this is a good inventory home to walk to give you a feel of what's possible uh, but also give you a feel of what pathway you're going to take for a lot of clients that i work with they tend to have more flexibility in their time periods maybe than most people and it's probably because a lot of clients who reach out to me are in the tech field they work from home so they have a lot more flexibility they don't have to move right away and so what they always end up asking me is should i build my home from scratch or should i buy an inventory home that already exists like this one and the answer to their question is it all depends on how they feel when we walk these homes and what i'm watching for are different comments about different things they would change in the home and then when i start to see hear hear about those changes i start to see that they have a little bit more of a vision of what they want in their home and that's when they tend to build from scratch uh, but for a lot of people that don't really care about it, they just care about the general, they don't care about the design aspect of the home. They care about just the general flow. And from a design aspect, they just think want things to be like light and bright and flow together. Then that's where I think I would lean towards an inventory home like this, where there usually is savings when buying an inventory home because it's already built. The builder wants to get it off its books and they tend to do much better pricing on their inventory homes. Getting back to the plan, we saw a full bathroom with access to the, through the hallway, and then this is gonna be the second bedroom downstairs. I like how they extended the flooring into this area. I like all the lighting in each of the rooms. I do believe this was designed by a homeowner, so they just did a lot of lighting. You'll see that in all the bedrooms, even upstairs. And then I like the flooring that they chose here. Uh, Perry, last time I was in the design studio, they had fantastic options where, uh, don't quote me on this, I believe this is a luxury vinyl plank just based on the plank size. And based on when, when I was in Perry's design studio last, they had these huge planks like this that were very good on pricing, especially compared to some other builders where you know they don't even offer some of them this big of a plank, plank size. Let me show you what I mean. Take a look at how much of a difference that makes, I think, in this room. I think with that huge plank going vertically front to back in the home really opens up this space. And I think it does the same thing in that bedroom. Now there's gonna be the mud bench. They have that mud bench here because this is gonna be access to a two car garage. If you recall, when we first walked in, there is an elevation going into this home. Uh, elevation meaning there's you have to walk up a, a few steps so you have that same thing here in the garage a good part about that is you get some space up top so anytime you have steps sometimes people want to avoid that the good part about that is sometimes you get a little bit more ceiling height in there and then of course you have a coat closet when you first walk in although this is texas so not too many people with coats especially if you're moving here from up north and then this is gonna be the utility room where you'd have a washer and a dryer. It's typically what I see with most builders. They just kind of maybe put like a shelf there uh, and a rod, nothing big, but there's always something you can do aftermarket if you really wanna do like an aftermarket built-in cabinet or something like that. And then I did mention four and a half bathrooms. So two full bathrooms downstairs and a powder bathroom, which is located right under the steps. And the way the steps are oriented, I think they you still have some pretty good room in there for a powder bath. And what's funny is I noticed this door was just closing on its own. These are things that are very typical towards the end of construction. So keep in mind, there's still some last second adjustments that they had to make. In fact, I did this video right after a gentleman uh, was leaving the home here that was, I think, painting something on the exterior of the home. So always some fine tuning to do in the last stage of construction here. 
Uh, getting back to the front of the home, this is going to be the study. Again, I like all the lighting that they chose in here. And I, I like the location of this. It's private from the other areas of the home. You get some good windows here, which is fairly typical uh, with Perry. And then you do have French doors with the glass insert going into this study. Okay, let's head upstairs. And I'm excited for you to see this game room uh, just because it opens up so well where you have railings on either side of this game room. You have windows everywhere, and then I think the tray ceiling is great because it makes this space feel bigger. Now, I do have some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is amazing windows. You don't want to put in windows after market. It's very difficult to do to cut in the siding of your exterior of your home. Uh, you Also, good news, everything opens up really well. That's another look at the front door. The bad news is is the lot next to us does not have the home built out yet. So the view that you're seeing here, just to be very clear, it's not something I would promise you that you could get. We don't know, we won't know what the view would look like until this neighboring home would get fully built out. And you can see that here where the dumpster is. Uh, they're just keeping that temporarily there until I'm sure they'll clear that out here very soon. And then yes, that is a lot for a home to be built out. What I would say though is it looks like this could be clear. Again, I can't say for sure. It depends on the setback of the home. Obviously, it also depends on what they build. A one-story plan compared to a two-story would feel a lot different on that end. But this gives you a really good idea of what's possible here in Parkside and the River. This was never made to be a view lot anyway, but here with just some a great plan, amazing windows, you're seeing some glimpses of some fantastic greenery, even on the back wall that you see there with those mature trees that we saw when we went out to the backyard. And then even just those small transit windows, you, those homes across the street are actually already fully built out. So you can see some great greenery on that side as well. Getting back to the plan, you see some uh, outlets at the top there. So you could put a TV on that wall Another look at the tray ceilings. You'll see the space opens up really well. And then we do have three bedrooms and two full bathrooms because they did do a structural upgrade on this plan. And that's why it's just under 3000 square feet. And you're gonna start to see the sun is coming out. Like when we look out these great windows off the front of this bedroom, uh, you're gonna start to see the sun's peeking in through the clouds. And wait till you see that when we go back out to the main living area. Uh, while we're in here, this is going to be one of the bedrooms where I love what they did with the windows uh, on that front wall. Windows can change, by the way, especially on the front wall, because when you pick an, a different elevation, like if you're building this home from scratch, you can usually pick different elevations, which is just the exterior aesthetic of the plan. And then right outside that bedroom, we have a full bathroom. And this bedroom's a little bit more private from the other two bedrooms. You'll see the other two bedrooms are uh, behind this, uh, where it does have another full bathroom on that side. And while we go through those two bedrooms and the full bathroom, I wanna take this time to clarify what I mentioned earlier in the video, which is you should not always work with me as a realtor. And what I meant by that is I've worked with 18 builders just in the last two years. And so I know the good and the bad when it comes to builders, but I don't know every area in central Texas. It's impossible for one person to keep up with it. And I'm just not quantity driven, meaning everybody who reaches out to me, I try to convince them to work with me. I just don't think it's a good way of doing business. I think if you're going to buy a home, it's important to work with somebody who's specialized with your criteria. And that's why for all people who reach out to me in regards to real estate and they're looking to move to Texas, I try to figure out who is the best realtor for them. And oftentimes it might be somebody else other than me. And to kind of give an example of that, I had a young lady reach out to me in Fort Worth. And if she's listening, shout out to you. I love the conversation where she just saw Perry home. She knew I did a lot with Perry. So she called me and in the Fort Worth area, you know, my wife uh, was born and raised in Dallas. So we go back and forth to Dallas a lot. We live in North Austin. Uh, so I'm familiar with Dallas, but I told her in that area, I, I highly recommend work with this other agent because I found another agent who had worked for Perry Homes previously, loved her experience with Perry, ended up working with buyers, uh, just like me, I represent buyers with all the builders that are out there and I help navigate them through the market 
of what options are best. Well, now she does that and she's doing a great job. I'm just, I was so excited to make that connection because that's where I provided value and that's what I'm all about. However I can provide value, that's what I'm trying to do. So if that's you, you are interested in real estate, reach out to me. I'd be happy to connect you with somebody who's great or maybe we can work together depending on your criteria. And my number is in the description of this video. You can call or just shoot me a text uh, explaining kind of what you're looking for and then I'd be happy to call you from there. Uh, and by the way, if you are looking at uh, a larger two-story plan, you really like this Perry home, you wanna see another one that's maybe more of a model home, take a look at the 4891 plan. That's the thumbnail that's appeared on your screen. And as always, I hope this helps. Take care.